Alrighty, uh, everyone, ow, I just slammed my headset into my face. Uh, everyone ready to play some more games? I say everyone, there's like no one watching, but it's fine, don't worry about it. I'm gonna use my Streamlabs remote. Fuck, wait, I forgot to set something up. Shit, I'm really bad at this, hold on. Don't worry, I've got this. <laughs> uh, this is what we're playing, but hold on, wait. I want to use my uh, Streamlabs remote control on my phone. I did it. <laughs> uh, it's not even that exciting. Alright. So we're playing this. It's fucking loud, by the way. So we're going to turn that hot mess down. Where, where, where? There you are. Just, yeah, you're going to be on five. You've lost volume privileges. There we go, that's good. <sighs> Look at that. All right, I wanna check something. Uh, options, can I del de de delete my audio? Sh shit. Delete my audio, did I just say that correctly? No, can I delete my save? Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna leave that on hide. Let's just go. Let's just get right into it, my dudes. Let's just jump right into it. Ignore everything that's going on. We're gonna go through this step by step, alright? So this is, this is an Adventure Time based fan game. Uh, that does have an NSF, NSFW slider, so ignore that. Like I said, we're going through this piece by piece, alright? Reset game data. Yes. Yes. I should have probably done that beforehand, but it's fine. I'm not reading that out loud because my voice is just f fucked. So you guys can read that. I'll leave it out long enough. Oh, well, that's the little dude. All right, cool. Oh God, I immediately tried using like my moves. I gotta get used to this. Okay, all right. So, the entire crux of the plot for this weird fan game is that, if you haven't watched Adventure Time, it's gonna be weird, but Jake, the dog, came into this cave, Marceline's cave to be specific, and now me, Finn, uh, I have to hunt him down. Yes. Good description. Look, I'm, I'm not here for plot, I'm here for gameplay, alright? Play as this boy, look at him. He's got a dumb hat. Alright. The rumors are true. The protagonists don't knock on doors, but it's fine. Look, it's it's don't worry about it. Anyways. We're just gonna skip through this. Fuck no no one cares, man. Do you really care about the plot? If you do. Oops. I need tools to remove the wooden planks. I've already gone through this, so I've got like my beeline. This is basically gonna be the world's most disappointing speedrun, by the way. Also, that sounds really horrible, Bimo. Where's the hammer? Oh, it's in my rear compartment. I have a bottle of water, by the way. So, if I destroy my throat even worse during this stream, I can just use that. When stuck, you could ask for hints. I don't think I need hints because, uh, look at the sweet summer child over there trying to hide. You found me. Now I gotta find him again. If I remember correctly, which I do. Hello. Now he's gonna hide the third and final time. And this is the part where uh, it could be slightly confusing as to where he is, but don't worry, I've got it. You know that hole there? It's unimportant. For now, at least. Cool, we got the hammer. Also, the hammer doesn't work on the these planks. You need a sword for that. Also, look inside this hole. I 
I really love that, that like, he just like, he just teleports behind you at all times. God, I wish I had the dash. You can hear me mashing the dash button constantly. So, uh, one of the things we're gonna do, okay, yeah, I know how orb wishes work, my dude. One of the things we're gonna do is cheat our way up there. We wanna get up here, right? Well, if you remember correctly, There we go. And now we can get this upgrade early, which is a mid-air recovery. When you receive damage, you get knock get some knockback. Fuck, I went right into the drink. When you get knockback, you can hit A in mid-air, and using some stamina, you can get recovery. Incredible. Alright. Hello, Go ghost? That's not a ghost, that's a horse. I actually almost called him a goat, to be perfectly honest. So, down this pathway is where you get like the first sort of many in the game? Fuck. Uh, this sword is not great. It's useful for like, you know, first... Shit. So that was the mid-air recovery. Uh, shit. Okay, cool. It doesn't have any special abilities other than the fact that it's fast as fuck. So this game's got some pretty solid combat, but it only really comes into, like, its own when you get the dash ability, because dashing allows you to cancel your uh, recovery animation for the attacks, so you could just infinitely style on one enemy instead of having to wait for you to put the sword back. Fuck. Look at that. Ow. So yeah, combat's pretty, uh, w whatever at the start at least. Because you don't have much, but later on you get swords that have, like, special abilities. Uh, my favorite one being the sword that allows you to block. And if you time the block perfectly, it uses no stamina. It's pretty good. That sword, it, it's pretty good. Then there's the, the, the other sword that's really interesting, the 4D sword. Which, uh, slow as shit, but does insane damage. So, but we'll get there when we get there. Hopefully it won't take too long. It really won't. Wait, let me remember. Uh, left, right, forward. Okay. That's for a puzzle later on. A puzzle that I always forget. Because I have the mental acuity of an actual toddler. Oh yeah, let me... Oh, I could skip the board section. Oh, the speedrun is coming along now. It's coming... It's... Okay, you're gonna be an asshole? Yeah, you are. Alright, come this way, please. Like, as far into this corner as you can get. Please? Please? Oh boy, do I not like you. Alright. There we go. Oh, no, wait, don't push that there. First climb up here, then push the thing. The fuck? I don't remember a cat sound effect. I played this game without audio the first time because I was too lazy. Alright. Everyone remember the combination? Because I might have forgotten it. Left, right, forward? Hey! Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da. Alright, nope. I don't have the double jump. I can't just make that fuck. Alright, that was just me being terrible. Okay, we're gonna stop doing that now. I was totally doing that on purpose for funny jokes, guys, honest. Believe me, please. Oh, you dumb bitch. I say to myself. Oh yeah, this game has a thing where it doesn't just let you run off the edge unless you constantly push, push against, which is, which is pretty good. Uh, Cause I don't like falling off of the edge of platforms because I'm being stupid. 
Ooh, like right then. Can I make it so these guys don't spawn? Fuck. Also, fuck, shit, damn it. Ooh, fuck, okay. Uh, also, enemies drop after death, they drop uh, money and low blue orbs. The blue orbs are used to recover health, which is pretty good when you're in the middle of a fight and you're getting free health. Dead. No more enemies? One more enemies. God damn it. Oh, if you saw there, I was able to, like, land on the platform and then get the... Which stopped the, like, swing animation in midair, which is pretty good. Basically, this whole game's... Oh, fuck. This whole game's... Alright. Calm down. Just for, like, two seconds, my dude. Alright, we're gonna have to back up out of this fight real quick. Ooh, fuck. Ooh, fuck. Not a big fan of any of this that's going on. Oh, did you see? He got stuck on the... Oh, okay. Your health is low. Well, I can't heal myself just yet. Don't know why the game gives me a tutorial for that when I don't even have... You gotta get fucking... You gotta get potions to be able to heal. Oh, fuck. God, I feel like I'm playing with like a beginner Kingdom Hearts 1 character right now. Where's the roll button? Where's this? Where's that? I don't have any of them because we just started. But we are going to get literally objectively the best ability All right, in the entire game. The dash. Fuck. Alright, yep, cool. I love the dash. The dash is so good. Oh, hello, please. Thank you. Two dash, five me. Look at that. Perfect. I'm just gonna watch Finn's shoes for a second. Can I made another dash? Yeah, I can. Okay. Look, I got a bomba, which is only really a puzzle item. It's not really used for anything, so. You're never gonna see the bomba again. We're gonna. Mmm, wait. Can I. I forget if I can do this, or if I need the double jump. Yep. Also, if you look, the switch is on his dick. Wow. And the button was on his ass. Alright. Something opened over there. Oh, yeah. I remember what opened. Shit, it's gonna suck. Hey, no, it didn't. All right. Also, oh, you're gonna be hearing that sound effect a lot uh, during the beginning of this. We're gonna check out what opened in just a second, but first, we detonate to the bomb and blow up the rocks. Also, yeah, this asshole's gonna be following us through the entire game now. So yeah, if if you noticed, I'm able to now completely dash cancel out of my attack animations, a any animation, honestly, and just like string infinite combos, technically. And dashing allows me to immediately jump to the next enemy to continue the combo without having to worry about, like, missing. Well, I mean, I still have to worry about missing because the dash doesn't go infinitely, but you know what I mean. Fuck. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> Fucking shitty games done sl or good games done shittily over here. Like, look at this. I'm fucking- he's stuck in his animation because I wouldn't let him out. Oh my god, that fucking poo brain horse is staring into the camera and that's really uncomfortable. Alright, what the fuck? Alright, so this is the part where I'm going to suck at. We're gonna do the easiest part first. Shit. I forgot. Okay. 
You analyze the locks, you're like, huh, I need three different keys to open up the locks, right? So let's do that. Key number one, or the key I like to go for first because it's the easiest one, is in this little eyes maze puzzle thing, which is hella easy to get through in Finn's version. Uh, there are multiple characters in this game, and I prefer the second character because she's way better. Done. Perfect. Most people don't even wait because all that happens if you get caught is the floor gives away. So if you like jump at the right time, you can you can get past it. So this is the the second sword, slightly slower than the first one, but with dash canceling that doesn't really matter. And it's got the block, and the block is the fucking best ability in this game. <coughs> when you block, you get a couple seconds of invulnerability. Uh, but it wastes stamina, and if you're getting comboed on, it'll just drain your stamina. But, if you get it at the exact moment that you block, like if you block at the last second you can, it'll not consume any stamina. So, that's a big plus. Let's see if we can do this. Uh, fuck. Shit! Hold on. Let's try that again. I kind of almost had that. Oh, God. Fuck, I might need a double jump for this, but I'm not sure. Oh, my Jesus. <gasps> Excuse me? You're an actual bitch. Fuck. I don't want to come back here with the double jump though, because I know I can do it now, at least. You fucking... You don't even really need these orbs for anything except for like, oh god, 100% completion. Which we're not going to do 100% completion, because I'm not allowed to show some of that content here on Twitch. Uh, that NSFW slider at the beginning of the game was not lying, to be honest. Alright, we're gonna... Fucking... We're gonna ignore the orb for now. Until we come back with the double jump. We can get this one though, that's for certain. And I think the only thing up there is another orb right there. That can only be seen in a certain camera angle. Weird. Alright, so we got one of the keys. Uh, we're not going to put it on yet. We're going to get the other key first and then put it on. Now to obtain this key... We gotta s hello, I forget, I keep forgetting about you. We gotta cross through this little river area. Finn can't swim, so, you know, you get an instant uh, death state if you try. Fuck, like that. Well, actually it's not an instant death state, it brings you back, I think with a loss of health, and a, a like, completely drained stamina, so you gotta wait for your stamina to come back. Fuck. Oh my god, that was awkward. My dash wasn't working in midair. Oh, it's probably because I don't have the infinite dash yet. Oops. Fuck, fuck, shit, fuck. Okay, I'm good. We're all good. Did he just drown himself? Alright, good job. Oh my god. Fuck. Oh my god, I just like avoided that. Alright. See, not so. I don't have the double jump. Alright, so the next enemy, a little harder than the last ones. Just a little bit. Ugh, I do not like its weird mouth design. Shit. Alright, now it's in uh, angry boss mode where it does more attacks. And I always forget its pattern. Fucking. Yeah, I'm not good at this segment of the fight. There we go. Alright, cool. Alright, so we just. 
dash across its body. And we talk to a uh, breakfast princess. Uh, yeah, she's like, hey, uh, I accidentally almost drowned to death and popped up here. Uh, yep. And she gave me a lock. And the first potion you get in the game. You buy potions from her. You can carry three at a time until you get an upgrade that lets you carry more. 60 coins each. Fuck my life. Also, we're gonna fucking... We're gonna... Oh my god. We're gonna miss constantly is what we're gonna do, boys. Oh, nope. Okay, well, that was entirely my fault that time. As was that. Alright, so running across this boy's corpse, we grab this. Orbs are used to fucking asshole. Orbs are used to grab hints, but we're not going to do that. Also, I'm going to change my hat to no hat. There we go. Much better. Improved. Motherfuck. Cool, we're gonna be back to talk to the princess later. Uh, now we head off, I believe, in this direction. I could be wrong, though. Oh yeah, uh, this is that- I think this is that door that opened earlier, I'm not sure. It's a little slot on this side, but I, I can do something with it. Alright. Uh, we're gonna do this- wait, we're gonna first- <gasps> Oh! We're gonna first push this thing down, so we can easily climb back up. This is a very Dark Souls-like approach to shortcuts, where it's just like, oh, you can do this thing. I don't remember the actual answer to this, but I think it was left, left, right, left. Yep, okay. I remember the puzzle. Shit, I hate this part. Just because it's super slow and tedious to do. Alright. Solve the puzzle. Green, yellow. Oh. Is it the same pattern every time? I think it was green, yellow last time. I think it's the same pattern. Alright, so if you remember, if you ever play this game and you remember the pattern, you fucking already got it, my dude. <gasps> oh, you bitch. I forgot that they changed it up. You gotta hit colors, not positions. Red? Hell yeah! Green, yellow, purple, red, blue. Green, yellow, purple, red, blue. Green, yellow, purple, fuck, red, blue. I almost fell again. Ba 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 ba. Oh god. Hey, and we've got the key card to get into uh, the mechanical door. Shit. Okay, let's go backwards. The fuck? Oh, that was coming down. I'm just like, what was that horrible rumbling noise? What is that horrible rumbling in my tumbly? Oh, there's no fast way to get up there right now. Oh, there was a fast way to get up there. I just messed it up. Yeah, we're gonna ignore you guys. You can deal with your own problems. Whoops. Okay. Insert the key card. And now... We've got, uh... Oh, shit. The double jump, hell yeah, finally. Alright, cool. Now we've got Princess Bubblegum. Uh, that wasn't a funny joke. And a machine behind her that requires a switch. That machine, uh, is the fuck, is the model viewer. So, we're not gonna use it because there's nothing really important there except for models. Oh, and the green key, I forgot about the green key. We have all the keys now. So now we'll find the ultimate culprit. Oh. 
when you turn it on it makes a bunch of uh, science looking lights come on we're probably not gonna come back to this room it's nothing really actually useful in here so there's no point all right so now that we're in the intersection we can hit up all the keys on this thing on this boy which kind of sucks because you have to do them one at a time with a command prompt for each one or a text prompt sorry hey now the locks should fall away and now we're just stuck with an empty doorway to the ice room. Can you guess what character is in this area? Yes, of course. It's the Pooh Brain Horse. It's uh, Ice King, of course. And we gotta beat him up in his Pooh Brain Horse uh, form, which is not hard at all. This guy to go down like a fucking chump. Whoops. So, he's got like phases, but they're not they don't really have much to them. He just avoid Gunters and avoid his like beam attacks. Then he does this thing, just a little spinning wall damage kind of thing. You just dodge that as well, and then you go up to him and beat the shit out of him. Now he's in his second phase already. And his second phase, I think the ice balls are faster and more like aggressive. Like he shoots them out more often, and the he occasionally does this weird vacuum move that like pulls you in and then does damage. I think this is the vacuum move. Yep. Oh god. Oh fuck. I forgot that he like stops doing it and then starts up again. But other than that, oh fuck. I'm almost out of stamina, asshole. It's not really that hard a boss to avoid his moves, but after this fight, you've got an even better fight that I can't wait to show because it's super good. Also, he fucking murders his gun through his left, right, and center. Shit. There we go. So that's that boss down. And if you're like, wow, that is gonna be, that's gotta be pretty shitty. Are there uh, better bosses? Yes! Yes, there are. The waifu. So, the excuse for why Marceline wants to fight is like, well, uh, technically, the Ice King is my father figure. I'm not gonna just stand by and watch you beat the shit out of him. Also, I wanna fight because it looks like fun. Alright, so this is kind of like a very reactive boss fight if you're doing it the way I do it, which is blocking, block everything, just, look at that, fuck, I got cocky, god this is the true Dark Souls, wow I am fucking just taking hits. So yeah, you basically just like dodge her attacks as much as you can, fuck back off before she does that uh dodge her attacks or block them or whatever as much as you can and then when she goes up to do the like that multi-hit combo you just kind of block that as well and she let off one last kind of like fire charge and for that you just dodge that and then she's stunned and you fucking wail on her whoops but don't wail on her when health is too low because then she'll hit the halfway mark and get super angry immediately I'm really focused on this fight right now because I don't have all my abilities so like it's not as easy as it should be fuck all right also health potions heal uh, stamina as well it's a fucking 
fucking one damage. Jesus Christ. Dead. Yeah, not that hard to fight. You just need to know the uh, sort of strategy. Oh, wait, let's not go that way. It's faster to go this way. Well, it's not really that faster, actually. There we go. It's J Oh, I forgot about that fucking horse. So, here we learned that Jake was just here all along. But, uh... Finn made it way too complicated. Also, Finn's like, hey, why don't you come with me and we can hang out? Uh, no. Okay, I'm gonna skip this just in case. I said I'm gonna skip this just in case. Just in case the, the song gets me fucking deleted off of the face of the planet. Cartoon Network executives are gonna come to my house and break my ankles. Look at this. So we got picture frames, which are basically just used as ways to mark achievements. So you've got find all wishing orbs, finish the main quest, uh, find someone help help someone find their way home, find the snail, discover another dimension, see all characters in a certain form, get all clothes, see all legal aged girls with huge breasts. Not gonna do that because Twitch will fucking kill me. Uh, collect all swords. Uh, watch a man take a bath. Not gonna do that. Watch a lady take a bath. Not gonna do that. Watch all videos uh i don't think i got that one and i'm not sure what i'm missing for it uh beat a specific boss battle that's oh that's one i can't do because i think that's only for the patreon supporters get all abilities upgrades unlock everyone's naked form not gonna do that don't want the twitch gods to fucking nuke me from orbit find hambo that's definitely one we're gonna do because i love that part uh but other than that we're like nearing the end really it's not much to this game. I just really enjoy it for its like exceptionally solid fight like mechanics. Uh right, left, left, right. Alright. So, we're gonna do something real interesting today, folks. Uh so we beat the game kind of as Finn. And we could go back and there's other stuff to do as Finn. But, hello horse. We're gonna do something real fun. We're gonna we're gonna open the game's hard mode. I fucked that up. It was right, left, left, right. Oh, then I was doing it right, you fuck mongrel. Dun da da dun 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 da dum Yeah, we're in the gender bent world. Uh, the difficulty is tougher, but more secrets and abilities can be found here. Yep. Look at this. Uh, I'm gonna play without the hat. And by that I mean the preferred version. So- Oh, okay, I do have the double jump. Oh wait! I think there's not anything up here, I lied to myself. Look at the the husbando! Alright, the plot is the same though. Uh, cake. So our current objective now is go deeper inside the cave, lol. Alright. Real, real proud of that one, aren't you? But, uh, we're gonna quickly run through some light, uh, secret stuff. Just because we can. So if you're wondering what this means, it's the last one that popped up. <laughs> it's not like, oh, follow the entire pattern. It's just like, oh, which, which thing did it end on? And you hit that platform. There we go. Not that hard. 
just looks exceptionally confusing when it starts because it's just like fucking all over the place. New outfit! The torn party gown from that one episode that made everyone wish that the show was just this. Also, I like the, the physics on it, so I like to use this because it's all swooshy. Boop! <laughs> I wonder if I can do it with this sword. We'll see. It's a new ability, and I think that's the infinite dash, maybe? I don't remember exactly which one that is, but it's something useful. I think it's something useful. Oh, last chance. Okay. So this one gives me a revive in fights. Uh, once, like, for each combat encounter, I think. Alright. Back into the Twilight Zone with you. Also, I forget how to do this segment. Oh, I remember now. You go... Yep, okay. Yeah, I remember now. I'm, I'm good. I got it. I got it. I got it. So... Oh, fuck. We gotta... Oh, God. Nothing in the beach side, if I remember correctly. I gotta remember some of the secrets to make this a bit easier, because this fight's gonna be a b -b 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 bitch. But whatever, it's fine. So, time to fight the whacked out Pooh Brain horse. It's the Ice Queen, and she also is unable to get out of the suit. Whoops. Let's fight, excuse me. So this fight is pretty similar, just, she just has more health, uh, and I think does more damage, I think. But she has a second boss fight that we can do, where she's actually out of the suit. And that's where it gets fucking hard. But for now it's all good. An airplane just passed over my fucking apartment. You get to see history in the making. If they fucking bomb my apartments, now you know what happened. Fuck! God, poor all Gunthers. Also, there's an ability I cannot wait to get. That pulls in orbs and uh, coins from way farther away. Shit! Oh yeah, I forgot about this part. Whoops! coins so oh, fuck I saw Gunther get like his, the back of his head knocked in by snow shit what's happening say oh okay this actually just might be the stream today because I just realized what time it was I was hoping to see if I could get him. This definitely isn't a fucking damage this speed run. It also isn't a speed run, because I'm going way slower than I, I want to. But it's fine, don't worry about it. Fuck! Sh shit. Okay. It's all god damn it. I went in for the health. I couldn't resist. Fuck. Fuck. Wait, wait, wait. Fuck. No! Oh, I don't have any potions either. I just realized that. Whoops!
I remember uh, the first time I played this, there was a bunch of Gunthers on the platform. When she did the little spinny attack thing. And I just heard like countless screams. It was kind of the worst thing ever. Hey, it's Marshall! It's best boy. Let's skip through that dialogue. Now we're gonna fight Ice Queen. And this is going to suck. Excuse me, that was disgusting. Holy shit. God. Fuck, I was not looking. Alright, let's just pretend I did that on purpose. Start myself at a disadvantage. I forgot my fucking entire, like, strategy for this fight for a second there. God. Those poor Gunthers. Okay, so we hang out back here, and you're, if you're wondering why are you doing that, this is why. I like jumping around because it makes me feel like even if I'm slightly off kilter, I, I'll still protect myself. Doing that. I can't block shit! I can't block that as easily. What the fuck? Why are you stuck on that move? Also, I don't need to worry too much about the Gunthers attacking me when I'm blocking because, ooh, every time I get the, the parry, it like knocks back everything near me. Fuck! Why did Gunther spawn like right on my ass? Oh god. Fuck. No, god damn it. Oh my god. Well, I was able to trick her into doing two almost straight lines right next to each other, so that's good. Also, the placement of this is a bitch, and I hate you. Alright. Oh, fuck. Now she's gonna go fucking angry mode. Oh, no. Thought she had low enough health to, like start using her different abilities. After she gets at like a low enough health, she begins to, uh, she spawns this like item that's just a like, constant detriment in the battlefield, like in the environment. It's just like something constantly moving around that might hit you if you're not paying enough attention, which is a real pain in my ace. I fucking fell right off like the mad lad genius that I am. Oh my god, I am fucking up this whole fight. If I have no stamina, I won't be able to hit her. Oh god. Oh, hello. That's what she throws around. And it just hangs out and occasionally like fucking attacks you. Oh, con. Fuck! God damn it. Gunther, give me health. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Health. 
Luckily when she does this, it like pulls the thing towards her. I assume to do more damage if she touches you. But uh, all that does for me is make it way easier to avoid. Don't get greedy. Oh god, I really wanted to- No! Fucking cunt. I was so close. I was so close. Alright, I'm gonna buy a health potion. Because I could do this fight with taking little health, very little health, uh, normally. But I do need, like, that fallback. Also, there's no male version of, uh... Uh, breakfast princess, so... We're gonna get three potions. I think I've got enough, right? Let me check. Yeah, I've got more than enough. Also, that was a very unflattering uh, pose to pause on. Alright, cool. Also, there's no point to doing that serpent fight as Fiona. Uh, it's unless you just want a harder version of that fight. Because there used to be an unlockable Shibari outfit you can get for doing it. But then like people were like, whoa, hey, uh, Fiona's kind of young. And the dev was like, dude, fair enough. Alright, you know what? You got me there. I actually don't know the context of like the conversation and why it was changed. But what it, the way it's described is like people complained that Fiona was young and the dev removed it. Didn't say anything about like the response the dev had. Like if he was like, fuck, wait, I, I didn't think about that or not. But I don't know. I'm going to assume why it, that like the dev thought of that after hearing it and went, yeah, that's oof. Sorry about that, my dudes. Oh god. Oh fuck. Just seeing the two Gunthers fucking plummet to their deaths. I'm really focused on this fight right now, which is why I'm not saying anything. No! Oh, got the fucking actual bitch. <gasps> no! Damn it. Alright. We're getting good leeway on the health. It's just, it's taking a while. Alright. Could have sworn I blocked, but whatever. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm not upset. You gotta really get that last second in if you want to comfortably do this. Like, it doesn't require perfect precision. Perfect precision. But, it's close enough to make me really uncomfortable if I get it off slightly. Okay. Health! Fucking Gunther! Oh my god, it was right behind me. God, the sound effect that thing makes. This game is amazing game feel, and it's not even technically a complete game. Fuck my life. No, you stupid whore! Oh god. Gunther, get the fuck out of here. Don't 
Don't get greedy. Don't get greedy, my dude. Fucking Kansamagula. God, the worst part is when you fucking fall off the stage, you fucking lose stamina. God damn it. God fucking damn it. Gunther, get the fuck out of here. You actual whore. There we go. All right. Holy shit. Yep, 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 Hey, we're back with Marshall. Uh, let's see. Fucking didn't mean to leave. Oh yeah, I forgot about the censorship sword. We're not gonna really grab that. Because it's not useful. Not useful for what we're trying to do, which is, uh, not get me banned off of Twitch. I think that's good enough for now. Well, I want to show off some of the more interesting, uh... Secrets at least. Alright, so now we've got the infinite dash. Which allows us to do that. Shit. Infinite dash is not really useful in combat, but it's definitely useful for world traversal. Like, for example, I want the demon blood sword. There we go. Don't really like the Demon Blood Sword. It's a decent speed and stuff, but its ab abilities are like very situational for me. I forgot how to do the other one. Oh, fire. Oh, yeah, okay. Dash. Demon Sword's cool, and its uses, I'm just not good at it with it. That's probably my problem. Yes! Alright, we got the Triforce. Not really useful. Uh, it allows you to use three models in the model viewer, but I don't, I don't want to use the model viewer. It's not really useful for anything. But it's a collectible and it's there, so I'm going to collect it. Alright. Now we go into the eyes puzzle, which is a lot more difficult as Fiona, but also you can really cheese it. So it's not as difficult as it might seem. <laughs> or you can cheat. And then the 4D sword, which is fucking the most useful item in the entire game for looking for secrets, right? If anyone says otherwise, they're objectively, just purely objectively incorrect. Wait, where's the snail boy? There he is. There he is. There we go. Now, first use of the 4D sword. Transform into a little soul shadow thingy, right? Right. So, is there anywhere I could show it here? No. There's some secrets that can only be uh, found using the 4D sword in the little uh, soul mode, like up here. This little thingy. Oh, hello. Hello? There you are. 
Chain sword! It gives you the ability to swap between two swords on the fly. I like to have the uh, root sword and then the 4D sword. 4D for traversal and doing high tier damage. Uh, the root sword for everything else. Or no, for root sword for bla de buck blocking. Can't speak English today. Alright, BMO. Uh, since I've already gone through the gender bend thing, I could just ask D BMO to do it for me. Now here is where things get interesting. So we use the, D the 4D sword to go up to textures. Now when I first saw this, I thought it was just going to be like a gallery of the textures. No, 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 mon ami. It's a fucking platforming puzzle to collect enough items to be able to gather up a uh, an outfit in the middle there. This game is weird and I kind of love it. So you just kind of like jump around on the textures of actual objects in game by the way. Like, look at this. Oh, I know what outfit that is. Okay. I was really confused for a second. I was like, what the fuck is that? Son of a bitch. When you fall off, you take damage, but there's no health values in these environments. So... So you can fall off all you want without really having to... Can't I air dash? Oh, you don't get any of your abilities in this place. So you can't infinite dash, you can't air dash, you can double jump, and that's it. What the fuck is this? I don't know, and I don't like it. There we go. Okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo. We're gonna go down here. So yeah, this is just like a really sh solid showcase of this game's platforming mechanics, by the way. Like the jump, the fucking oh, high tier jump arc that your character has. Oh my god, I almost fell. The high tier jump arc that I'm not gonna use. In All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, it's those weird witches. Okay. Keep looking down at textures and be like, "What the fuck is going on?" Oh. All right. I might stream if I can get through the this bonus content. Uh, stream Hotline Miami as well today. See, now we have four things left before the little barrier breaks and we'll be able to grab our uh, costume. I forget which one this one is. I think it's something for Fiona, maybe? I think it's actually this outfit. Maybe. I'm not sure. See, I play, I play a game with this kind of, like, secret that feels sort of meta and fourth wall-ish breaky. And I just can't help but think about the kind of story you can weave around these kinds of events. Like, video game characters realizing they're in a video game and like, through the act of like, seeing their own textures and like, all that stuff. It's, you could do, you could do a lot in a story with this kind of environment. It's really interesting. Do these textures look familiar? They might. I don't know why I sometimes like to j dash before jumping. All that does is fucking ruin my jump arc. Not ruin my jump arc, but like make me occasionally just run immediately off. And then instead of doing a base jump, I do the double jump first because I'm technically already in midair. God, I love this. I love it. I love it so much. Like, I, I literally just grabbed this game for, like, basically my own research, in a sense. That's the last one. Research for, like, because I, I heard that this game is, like, really nice combat mechanics, so I was like, oh, 
I can use that to research my own things. Ah, Wurtz Cape! That's what we get on this one. Look, it's the boy from over the garden wall. I also just like using Wurtz hair in general, like blonde to brown, because it looks really cute. God, I wish I had more water. I uh, ran out a little bit ago and my throat is fubbernucked. Now, it's called statues. I really hope that the NSFW filter is on properly because I will fucking kill myself if it's not. It is! Hey! <laughs> These statues are normally completely nude and I am talking completely and it's quite detailed and it's not great. <laughs> Like, the weird thing is, I really like this environment because it's so fucking weird and trippy. But, like, definitely wouldn't be able to play this game on Twitch if not for the fact that, uh, you got that NSFW filter on. Thank you, by the way, for the fucking... That, the button that l lets me go, hey, can I not flash big-ass actual anime titties on my TV screen? Or on my monitor screen, that'd be great. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Also, when I say detailed, you see where this fucking orb is? I mean detailed. The person who made this put a lot of time, love, and effort into it. But whatever, it's fine. One man's art is another man's Discord ban. Discord ban? I meant Twitch ban. <clears throat> oh, fuck. Shit. Okay, well, we're not going that way. Fuck, we're almost not going that way as well. There we go. Oh, right on the wrist, too. Oh, I forgot this is a good way to climb up. Oh, fuck. Ignore the fact that I nearly fell to my death. I'm trying to keep focused, because unlike the other one where it had a bunch of literally completely flat two-dimensional platforms that are very easy to, like, jump on and get a fucking grip on, uh, these are three-dimensional models that are all rounded out and fucking will probably be the death of me. more no okay yep that's it uh oh right down there don't miss don't miss don't miss hey all right yeah that's for fiona the gym clothes uh we're not gonna wear that that much because it's just kind of generic gym clothes so it's not really that interesting i mean it might be interesting to you but that's not what i came here for which is weird, because 99% of the people who come to this game come here specifically for that. Now, we've got Marceline's house. Personally, in my opinion, the least interesting one. That sound is absolutely grating. Alright. And up, oh, fuck. So basically, this is like a really messed up version of Marceline's house. It's also got the whacked out poo brain horse over there, so that's nice. Well, I got what I needed. Didn't need to land perfectly on the platform. Ah, uh, the air dash would be so useful during these platforming segments. I wish you could keep it, at least. Like, just the air dash. There we go. Oh, 
Also, the whacked out poo brain's horse. Motherfucker. The whacked out poo brain horse's eyes follow you uh, through the whole thing. I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. Fuck. Okay, I'm good. Don't worry. We're all good. Everyone's stopping worried. Everyone, and by everyone I mean no one, because no one's watching this stream. Oh my god, I thought I made the same mistake again. I like grabbing the stuff on this side uh, after that. Nice. Alright, I think we got- no, there's one inside the refrigerator and then that's it. For this side, I mean. We've got one on the horse's head and... Oh, was there not one in here? Am I- is my memory garbage? Oh no, you gotta climb up here to get on top of here to be able to get it back on the other side. Hello, horse. Done. I think if I remember correctly, this is a Bravest Warriors reference. Not watched Bravest Warriors, I really need to, but... Yeah, I think it's Bravest Warriors. Now, we're gonna go this way. <laughs> this is gonna be really interesting. Uh, fuck. Oh, wait, no. I should go in from the top, I believe? Yeah, okay. Yep. So, remember when I said we were gonna grab Ham Hambo? Well, here he is. He's got a little sign that says, don't touch me. Isn't this Marceline's doll? And something's written here. Don't touch me. Only the true hero can take me home. Pick it up. Yes. We got a hambo. Marceline's pressed the stall. She'd love to see it again. So, uh... Oh, God. This is what happens when you grab a hambo. <laughs> so back at Marceline's house, look a little, little Marcy, look at her, she's adorable, isn't she? The place looks pretty normal, we don't have the signs up there, uh, but you know. So in this segment, uh, 
you usually would get a boss battle that would reward you with a new sword that has a new ability, but uh, we can't do that because that's only for the Patreon build because that part that uh, version is ahead a couple pieces. So now we've got obtain all the orbs, finish the main quest. Uh, this one is help someone find their way home. That's easy. We'll be able to do that in two seconds. Find the snail. Find Hambo. Find the alternate gender dimension. Defeat the ice queen. Uh, what else are we missing? Get all clothes. I forgot. Oh, I remember what I'm missing. Okay. We're all good. We're all good. Don't worry. So, as you can see, we've got this little hole right here. Right? This is where the, that whacked out poo brain horse came from. First off, we're going to change our clothes, because fuck this garbage. No, wait, we're going to do... There we go. Now, how do we get in here, you might be asking. Well, that wasn't the right question for me to ask out loud. Anyways, what is in here, you might be asking. School! Of course. What did you expect? So this place is a little interesting. Again, taking away our fucking dashing ability, which sucks. So now we've got this entire school that appears to kind of just be existing in an infinite kind of glitchy void. So our current goal is to run around the school and find all of the orbs right now. If we can find all of them, we get a new outfit and a new puzzle to solve in the school, which will be really interesting. I already see one of the orbs. One orb left. Well, this is gonna be the one orb that'll fucking ruin my day. Don't you hate it when you lose an orb in your school and you have to continually air dash around to find it? This sound is horrible, horrible and I fucking hate it. Like, it's a good sound gameplay-wise, like, normally, but the worst part being when you have to rapidly dash through an area to be able to, like, get somewhere faster, and you just hear... But it's fine. Now we've got... Oh, fuck. Now we've got, first off, the second puzzle. Second off, a new outfit. Sailor... Oh, my God. The fucking text is glitching out. The Sailor Fuck You suit. Hello? Oh, thank fuck. I thought I broke it. Alright, let's switch that costume so I can show it off. Perfect. Alright, cool. Nice. So, next puzzle. You see these pictures? Well, here's what we do. We recreate the images. Da 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 Yep. Now our goal is to recreate all the images, and I know the approximate locations of each of them. When I say approximate locations, boy fucking howdy, do I mean approximate. My only problem with this puzzle being the fact that each environment, like, aspect of the school is kind of, like, generic, except for some, like, key, uh, locations. Like, oh, the cafeteria obviously looks different, because it's a fucking cafeteria. But then it's just like, oh, is this in hallway number three or hallway number four? But like I said, I know the approximate locations of everything. I should explain this puzzle, probably. Uh, basically, the way this works is each puzzle is based on a specific set location. Your job is to find said location, 
uh, and recreate the angle that the image was taken. You'll see that the camera kind of locks into place when, when you get a close enough angle. And then from there, you change the uh, time, like this, with uh, X or B. I don't know what the controls are on the keyboard. And after you've... Okay, I'm going to go fucking down here. No, there's an image here, actually. Around... Um, you gotta get something so perfect, it's kind of irritating. Hold on, I'll do that so I can get better lighting. There we go. Bam! And then after you get the, uh... Sort of the details correct, you can... You get the image. Now I just need to figure out what the fuck is going on with this area. It's hard to see. There's a table behind her, so it should be like around here, but... Oh! Fuck, there we go. There we go. Perfection. There's another one down here. Like, on this table, I think. Nope, wait, fuck. There we go. It's night. Look, fan service. We've actually almost got, almost have the pictures done because it's not actually that many. So we're missing this one, this one, which I know the like exact location for that one. Missing this boy. Yeah, we're almost done. <laughs> yeah, it looks like. Yeah, we're good. We've got it. Bakaneko QC, welcome to the stream. Did you just like come in last second at the fan service? I apologize for this fucking horrible sound effect going off every three seconds. Ah, there we go. Should be around there? Yeah, okay. Yep. Ah, okay. Around... There. Now it's, I think if I remember correctly, one more image and then we're all good. Yeah, I think it's just, uh... Yep, it's just this picture in a very annoyingly nondescript hallway. Wait, I think it might be here, actually. No, it's not. I lied to myself. Good sound effects, good sound effects. Let me look at the image again. Next to an open door and a stairwell. Could be not there because, hmm, hold on, let me see. There's two open doors here, aha! I figured out the strategy. Analyze your environment. Ba -ba -da, ba -ba 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 -da. It's breakfast, princess. Hey, and we've got the 2D waifu uh, card thing, whatever. Basically, it allows us to you spend all your money. Hold on, give me two seconds. Alright, 
Sorry, I was answering something on Discord. Alright, so back through this hole again. Uh, we're gonna cut this down just because I can. There we go. Alright, so... Uh, da -da -da -da, what are we missing? Hello, Pooh Brain Horse. Uh, oh yeah, let's show off the uh, 2D waifus. There we go. Alright. We're gonna show off uh, 2D Marceline waifu. But everyone knows who the true waifu of this game is. Yeah. Also, you can hide the dialogue and turn the camera if you want. Also, if you turn the camera too much, the character model slightly turns. Oh, okay. Adios. Uh, we're gonna go to the better dimension, though. The, uh... Where the fuck? Oh. I forgot Bimo walks around all over the place. Shit, I did not mean to do that. Fuck. And I keep jumping instead of talking. Alright, turn that back on. Alright. And then, I would like you to uh, send me to the gender bend dimension, please. Thank you very much. Alright, cool. We're over here. Bimo's the same. But you know who's improved. Look at this best boy right here. Come on, you can't say this isn't best boy. Come on, look. Look at this. Alright, that's enough drooling over anime boys for one day. Okay. Now I'm trying to think of what I'm missing. It's not much, but I feel like I'm missing stuff. Oh, I fucking remember one of the things I'm missing. Whoops! Okay, we're just gonna go up here. Uh, there should be a thing somewhere around somewhere. It's not. There's another. Hmm. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna search that up. Search, search, search it up. Search, search, search it up. Da, 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 da. Also, I won't be able to look at the chat while I'm searching it up. So. <sighs> look up them secrets, bucko. Lost fish. Oh, and I forgot to see the lost fish. That's fine. I'm fine with missing that, if we're being honest. Oh shit, I, met, I didn't get the masquerade suit. Okay. We're gonna get the masquerade suit real quick. Hold on. I also still can't see the check because I'm looking at tips and tricks. So to get the masquerade suit, you go through the, uh, repeating maze. Someone is opening my door right now. I really hope it's not a robber. Hello today. Okay. Uh, back to the repeating maze. Hey, I shot you a message. Did you not get it? No. I figured. Because you never answered. Alright. Can I just go to, there we go, bomb area. Oh, fuck, I hate this area. They introduced a new enemy that's gonna su- mm. The new enemy's gonna suck, but it's not gonna suck as bad as I am with, uh, platforming. Alright, we're just gonna do this. There we go. She- Why am I platforming when I could just fucking turn into, like, Shadow the Edgehog over here? Wow, look at that. That would've made my first playthrough- through this game a lot easier now that I think about it. I'm good at video games, guys, trust me. Guy. Now, how do I get B's cape apron? Oh, there's a hole in the roof where that stupid poo brain horse is. Don't worry, we've got this. Okay, so this is. Uh, another reference to the uh, show, that one place 
that Finn went to. Or, f or was it? I haven't watched the show in about way too long. So, but don't worry about it. It's fine. I should go back and rewatch it so I can get some of these references, but it's fine. What the fuck? Wait, hold on. Hold on. I am missing one of the orbs and I can't find it. Excuse me? But there are no orbs left. Is there, there's not an orb in here, I know that for certain, but I'm just looking around anyways. Got it, it's a little difficult to see. Oh, up here, ya fucking monk. Wait a minute. This is the fucking place from, uh, this isn't, no, it's not. Nope. It looks like the room from, uh, that one show that I can't fucking remember the name of now. Wait, what? I got Garnet suit? This is the hallway secret location. Alright, also Garnet suit. Bam. If you like the Steven Universe, there you go. I think there were two holes and I missed one of them like a fucking big brain genius. One. Oh, wait, what? No. Hold on, wait. We're going through here. It's not in here. I'm really confused now. In the roof where I first met the Pooh Brain horse, right there. I've got. Uh, <laughs> excuse me? Oh, over here. What the fuck? But that's not where I first met the. You lied to me! Tutorial page or wikia page. That fucking wikia page lied to me. It's not next to where I found the fucking Pooh Brain horse. Technically, it's the furthest object away. Oh, God. Also, yeah, I'm back on- I'm back being able to view the chat. So if you're saying anything, I can now see it with my eyeballs. <gasps> Fuck! Alrighty then. That worked out well. I'm really good at platformers, guys. Really good. I guess technically spending as little time as I can on the fucking platforms technically works. I'm I'm shutting my mouth so I can focus as much as I can. Okay, there we go. Now we just climb to the top of Hembo over here. Fuck. There we go. And we tie climb on top of this box to get this box. And it's Bee's cat apron. Look at that. Oh, isn't that fun? Look at how good that looks. Gosh dang, look at just look at the detail. Ah, cest magnifique. Okay, we'll leave. So I can actually show it off. And I think that'll be it for uh, Adventure Time. Yeah, that's how it looks. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's all the important stuff, because everything else, I'm, if I remember correctly, I'm not allowed to show on, tum on Tumblr. You fucking moron on Twitch. Yeah, we got uh, all clothes. Uh, well, I missed one of the swords? What sword did I miss? I didn't miss any swords, you're lying to me. Uh, watch all videos, find all wishing orbs, help someone- Oh, help someone find their way home. Yeah, I'll leave that one up to you. This is a free game, you can download it if you want. There you go. That's my obligatory- I'll leave something up to the audience to find. Ah, uh, 
God, Jesus. We're gonna take a short, very short break in between games so I can, first off, get something else to drink so I don't fucking die. Uh, so, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this little stream studying thing right here. Look at that. Look at how fancy that looks. Uh, turn off my audio in a second and put on some nice hype music. Me, burning down the walls. Is that a way 
for me to break. I'm a chef chauffeur at Boo's Masquerade. I didn't both face the mind. I pray for you to draw. I'm a chef chauffeur. Have no face to show. Please don't take off my mask. My disguise. Hello, I'm back. You like the music? Was it nice? Did it stimulate your ears properly? I don't know why I'm talking like this. Anyways, we're gonna start up uh, a game, and it's called Hotline Miami. We're gonna play like I don't know, maybe an hour of that. Ah, oh, fucking, I don't know, man. Uh, 16 to 20 by 1080. Heck yeah, bucko. Alienware. What are you fucking updated or original? What are these options? Can't. Okay. Uh, fuck. What do I? I need open AL3 to D that DLL. Are you shitting on my soul? Uh, I hate you. Okay. I'm gonna Google what the fuck that is. It was open AL. 32. Uh, cause this is corruption. Some cases could cause a registry problem, virus, malware issue, or even hardware failure. Okay, how to fix, damn it. Uh, okay, I guess restore, just delete and download the game. Well, fuck. Oh, verify repair, maybe? We'll see if that works. God damn it. Fuck my life. I got some milk. I'm gonna put that right here, away from my computer. Ha! <sighs> Love this game. It's not the game's fault. I just don't know why I downloaded it in a weird way. Downloaded without one of the key components. <laughs> like, what's your fucking plan there, my dude? Nope. That one heard that. <laughs> like fucking a nanosecond of some fucking Oni plays gameplay. Nope. Have the big balloon. I said I said nope. I fucking said it. And I'll say it again. Ha <sighs> you guys watch the new Persona 5 uh Royal trailer? Apparently it's going to be called Royal in America, but the Royal in Japan, which is fucking stupid. Alright, let's try this again. Yes. W window. No, not windowed. Cunt. Actual physical cunt. Yeah, okay, uninstall. <laughs> it's fucking... 
Video games are stupid. All right, we're gonna put some music in the background to help wait, help with waiting. Die! Expedia, I saved one Damn it! Hotel to our flight. Skip bad. That was loud as fuck. I apologize. Do I still have streamers starting up soon? Uh, I do. Uh, I guess I'll put intermission. Okay. God damn. Hotline Miami, what are you doing to me? We're just waiting for the down. Hey, the download's done. Alright, Hotline Miami, don't do this to me. You fucking actual human bitch! Okay, wait up, let me look at the exact code. What does it say? Let's do original. The original version does not support the save game for- I don't give a shit. Hold on. What the fuck? It's asking me to download something. Direct play? What the fuck do you need direct play for, you fucking mongrel? All right, my fucking shit. Why you needed? Why did the? Why did? All right, I'm gonna fucking send a message to my friend who knows more about games and technology than I do. Uh, why the fuck does Hotline? I did not. I that's oof oof Hotline. Shit, Miami need direct play. Also, why does the updated version crash all the time? Okay. Oh, <laughs> I saw. Fuck, I got really confused. Um, the game's not running. You lied to me. Let me see what the updated version says. Like, the up. Updated version needs needs open al thirty two dot dll and I have no clue what the fuck. All right. Okay. Uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna play the normal version, I guess, the original or whatever. Yeah, I fuck no, it doesn't support saves so I didn't get to play the, no the new version so I don't need my saves to be supported I hope this game plays with the gamepad because I'm gonna be hella upset if it doesn't hello okay scratch that I hope this game runs or else I'm gonna be hella upset that it doesn't Excuse me. Alright, fuck you, we're playing Hotline Miami 2. Wow, that opened immediately. Ow, my hand. God. Oh, I am so sorry. Holy shit, that's so loud. I think I actually went deaf just then, by the way. We're gonna fucking- you go- you're gonna be fucking volume th three now. You've lost your volume privileges. This game contains seeds that allude to sexual violence. Would you like to skip those scenes? Uh, yes, cause I don't know if Twitch would be cool with that or not. Galaxy Film Presents. I know the scene and you can see it on like YouTube or whatever, it's just like... I'm not gonna play around with that shit on Twitch. 
Also, there's people outside my apartment currently screaming, and there's a dog barking. I regret existence. Oh, I'm not even streaming the fucking god. Oh, I hate myself. All right, we're gonna go back to the live scene, uh, and game capture. Where the fuck? Nope, that's not it. Hotline Miami 2, please. Thank you. Uh, transform. Uh, fit to screen. What? Wait, hold on. Hold on. Game capture, right? Oh, I think I made a mistake. I think I fucked my event list like a fucking idiot. Transform. Uh, fit to screen? Or stretch it? Oh god. Okay. Game capture. Let's just change the properties on that, damn it. Oh my god, Michael, it's almost as if you have literally no clue what you're doing. Can I- Ah, oh, yes! Give that shit to me! Good controls, boy! Ah, oh, this is a cool menu, though. Holy shit, this is a fucking amazing menu. Rewind is restart, check is quit. I'm gonna put that down a little bit. Alright. Ah, what the fuck? No, we're not doing that. Who do you think I am, stupid? Attack, interact, right trigger, pick up, interact, left trigger. There we go. I think I am some kind of fucking idiot. Jesus Christ. Alright, quick check. I don't think the game's streaming. <sighs> Let me look at it with my eyeballs. Hold on. Oh god, turn the audio down. Fuck. I don't need to hear myself m any more than I normally have to. <sighs> Does Hotline Miami not hit Did you fucking load the string <laughs> oh god all right gameplay is currently on screen right nope a fucking twitch ad twitch I don't need an ad i just want to see if my stream is working come on man don't do me like this I gotta wait for the ad to be able to know if the stream is, you know, streaming. Uh, it is not. Fuck this game. <laughs> oh my god, holy shit. No, I skipped the conversation. <sighs> okay, you know what? I think this is a good time to, 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 to break it. I think it's a good time. I think it's good. No. No, I'm not gonna quit. I wanna quit. I really do. You know what? This is a good place to call it. This is a fucking mess. All right. Uh, so no hotline Miami. We'll do that in the future when I figure out how to get the shit working. Uh, but for now, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed the, the the awkward, flaccid, tapered off ending where I'm just like, "Oops, it doesn't function." Oops, all non-functioning. Hope to see you cool cats in the next stream, and I bid you all adieu.